What's up everybody, it's Greg back with some more Mirror Fort. And today we have a new update coming in. It's not a huge update to the game itself, it's more about the cryptocurrency behind the game, aka Draco. And there's definitely some changes here I would like to talk about. And you know, there was a video put out over I believe the weekend or Friday uh, from We Made going over this new Trinity algorithm. Now, what is the Trinity algorithm? It's basically something they're putting in place that's going to adjust the fees um, related to Draco to in order to uh, stabilize the market. I, I am really torn on this because, you know, one, yes, like the bots and stuff are affecting the game. The, you know, the, you don't want a game where people just come in and hit a certain level in mine. Um, you want a game that people are going to play. So it's really hard to do that when you also have a cryptocurrency behind the game. And how do you balance, you know, people wanting to just form the cryptocurrency versus, you know, people wanting to play the game, especially when it's tied to a very important in-game resource. So, like I said, I'm a bit torn here because, you know, while they say it's not manipulation, I'm sorry, but everything points to it basically manipulating the market. And we'll get into that in a minute. So let's just go ahead first and go over the update. Trinity algorithm, uh, Trinity algorithm update January 4th. So, our important update Trinity algorithm. Trinity, a multi layered AI algorithm designed to monitor and analyze economic activities to achieve equilibrium via Draco smelting fee adjustments, will be implemented. Implementation of new smelting fee formula by or formulated by the Trinity algorithm. So, they do have some more information here on. The web page. Uh, let's see if they. Well, somewhere I could see this. Uh, yeah, right here. Trinity algorithm. Trinity. Well, no, this is the same thing we have on here. So they have the video, guys. Um, I'll put the link to the video in the description if you want to go watch it. I don't want to put it all in this video. So I would say just, you know, go take a look at that and see if you can understand what they are saying. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But let's go ahead and go over the game changes real quick. In-game economy system and content policy changes. The cost of ceiling fees for extra eco items or extra eco craft boxes will be increased. The ceiling boxes, the price of each ceiling box will be increased to 200 gold. I believe right now it's 100 gold. The chance of greater success during item crafting will be reduced to reflect upon changes in the market. Now, this is where I kind of have a question because is there just a... I don't know if there's two layers of greater success or what, because I don't want the fact that, you know, tradable items that can go on the uh, market should not be impacted by this. And this is not clear as to whether or not those are impacted, because I believe, you know, is it is it great success and then greater success or, you know, what is it? So hopefully great success, which is tradable, is, you know, stays the same. Um, but this does seem like it's going to lower the chance of crafting an X Draco item. That's what I see here in terms of what it's saying. There aren't patch notes at this point, so I do apologize. But that's what I feel like it's saying. Um, and I mean, I think that's, I mean, I guess both good and bad. I mean, pretty much everyone just has a shot at it. And if you get it, you're lucky. Um, but they're probably going to pop up at a lower rate now. Now, new products will be added to Dark Steel Shop. That's a cool little change. Not really related to the whole Draco change. Um, I know a lot of people did enjoy the tickets that were on the shop. So we'll have to wait and see what they add. I'm kind of excited to see what they're going to be putting on there. Uh, number four, changes to Dark Steel Crafting Box. Oh, no, sorry. Dark Steel Box Crafting. The wrapped uncommon Dark Steel Box will be removed from the crafting menu. Interesting. The wrapped rare Dark Steel Box and wrapped epic Dark Steel Box will no longer have a uh, will no longer have daily craft limits. That's Okay, that's cool. Crafting merchants located in major cities will no longer provide crafting recipe for wrapped dark steel um, boxes. Now, is this, I believe this is the, um, I'm not sure if this is the dark, the merchant that, that you can just buy the boxes straight from for like 1.1 million dark steel versus having to buy the boxes. I think what this, I think what they're doing is forcing you into actually buying the boxes off of the shop um, in order to wrap the dark steel. I'm not 100% sure though. Um, I think before that was cheaper anyway. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not sure what you know if this is a big deal or, or what. Um, but 
those are the changes coming to the game. I do not think we have any patch notes at this point. Uh, no. So that's what we got to go on, guys. Now let's just talk about the Trinity algorithm for a minute. Essentially what's going to happen, the way this is going to work is if the algorithm determines that the price of Draco in, I, I'm suppose I'm guessing US dollar, I don't think they can really base it on WeMix because that doesn't make sense. I'm guessing it's going to be based on US dollar. If the price is considered low, then they're going to increase the Draco smelting fee. And if you look at the video, the example they did at whatever point in time that they made the video, which I mean, obviously, Dark, I mean, Draco has been pretty low up until they made that video. It was down, you know, around what 30 cents or so per Draco. And what they're saying was at that point in time that it would have been 600 something, about 607,000 Dark Steel to make one Draco. Now, that does not mean that if you go and redeem one Draco, that you're going to get 607,000 Dark Steel. You still get the same amount of Dark Steel, and that is based on the Derby, which is, you know, like currently we're at like 102,000 or something, or 102,700 or something. Some number like that. It goes up a little bit each day. That's what you get from the Draco, or you get when you smelt the Draco. Um, what, but the difference in smelting is there's an additional fee on top of that. And that fee has been generally low. Now that fee is going to be adjusted based on the market value of Draco. So like I said, if it was like it was the other day, that fee was like 500000 So it's going to it's going to make people think twice about smelting their Draco because the price is so... Uh, or you're only going to get like, what, one Draco for the equivalent of five. So that would make people wait until the price goes up. Now, how does this... Uh, I believe, you know, they say on the top end, if the price gets too high, then they're going to lower it. I don't, I don't know how they're going to do that because you got the base film. So I guess once it gets high, it just goes back to normal, you know, and maybe that's how it ends up balancing out because people are going to hold more dark steel until that happens. So I guess that's how it's going to balance itself out. But from my point of view, it's just, it, you know, they say it's not manipulation, but you know, this whole cryptocurrency thing is still relatively new. You know, people are still trying to understand, th understand things. I'm not sure exactly how, you know, we got gas fees and stuff in other currencies. I know like Ethereum is pretty high right now. And I think it's due to the resources available. Um, so I, I, I consider this kind of similar to that. But in this case, in the game itself, is pretty much choosing the fee based on what the current price is. And that to me is a bit of manipulation. Is they're essentially trying to control the economy of Draco because it is, uh, you know, directly related to an in-game resource, and you want to maintain the environment of the game. But in that case, it feel like to me it feels like it's, you know, defeating the purpose of having a cryptocurrency for the game. You know, at that point, then why do we even have the cryptocurrency um, if it can't really have a life of its own? So I don't know. That's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Obviously, since the video came out, the price of Draco has been going up. I think it's pretty much doubled in the, over the past few days. And we'll probably continue to go up a little bit, especially after this is implemented. I know on one of my accounts, I, I was just busy over the weekend with the new year. And I had some Draco I wanted to smelt, and I didn't get to smelt it. So I'm probably going to be just holding it until the price goes up. And hopefully that's what everyone else does, and eventually the price will go up and... Everyone will be happy. I don't know. I think what we're going to end up having is we're going to basically define a new bottom for Draco. And there may be some spikes here and there, but I don't really see how Draco itself can really take off at any point in the future. Um, it, this algorithm seems to make it where it can't really moon. Although, since it does just adjust the fee, I mean, you can't let the fee go below zero, right? So it's not like you're going to have a negative fee. So I guess in that, in that sense, there really is no ceiling to Draco. But, you know, once you get to a certain amount, it's really it's creating a new bottom for Draco, in my opinion, which I mean, I do like that. I mean, it's good, but it's also bad. I mean, it's, it is manipulating it. So I don't know. Like I said, let me know what you guys think. Those are my thoughts. Um, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Turn those notifications on. I will see you guys after the update. Catch you in the next video.